I still can't collect them seven years later. Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I don't remember if I mentioned this before, but at Death Mountain, if there's something bad going on there, the ring above Death Mountain, you've seen that ring when I enter the Temple of Time there, it will be a little bit upset to say the least. Oh boy! <laughs> yeah, so something definitely went down within these uh, last seven years, that's for sure. Hey, there's more Gossip Stones. Uh, can I... Can I wear this mask? I don't... Can I? That would be very nice if... I, yeah, I don't think I can wear... Yeah, I can't wear the mask. Dang it! Oh, well. That's too bad. I'd like to talk to more of these... Oh, boy, Redeads! Now, what I'd like you to do is go over to Hyrule Castle first, or... What was Hyrule Castle, just to show you what the heck's been going on here. Now there's a frickin' crater volcano and this castle of death floating above it that is quite the fortress i have to say what happened to this place oh that's what happened yeah <laughs> anyway what you want to do over here is go over on the other side of this arch here and then take a look carefully at it. You'll see a Skulltula. Yes, a gold Skulltula. The first that you'll see in adulthood here. Right over there. Um, wait, can I actually get that now? Oh, maybe I can't get that until I can... You know what? You know what? Yeah! <laughs> now let's see if I can get this sucker. I know I'm going to fall into the lava doing it, but... No! Well, that didn't work out too well. I think it is possible to get as an adult, though, so I'm going to give it another shot. Well, I, I shouldn't say get it as an adult. I mean, get it without um, an item that I'll be getting shortly, so to speak. I just like to pick it up now just for the fun of it because I never I never got the Skulltula like this before, so I thought it would be an interesting little challenge. Uh, the item that I could... Uh, that I'll be getting shortly can get this Skulltula pretty dang easily. Uh, so this is really, really unnecessary. Can I like... Nah, I guess I can't right now. <laughs> well, it was worth a shot. I, but I'm pretty sure that's possible. I just don't want to waste more time on it. Anyway, this is Hyrule Market now. Lots and lots and lots of Reed Deads now. For some reason, when they screech in this area, they don't stun you. I don't understand why, but they can still hump you. <laughs> and inside this building right here is a side quest to get the fourth and final bottle of the game. This very, very odd person here collects pole souls. Well, you can sell normal pole souls if you put them in a bottle. You know those pole, pole souls that I've been killing? I should say the poles that I've been killing lately in... Uh, at and then you see their souls just popping out of there and you can catch them in a bottle and bring them back to this person. But there's 10 special pole souls out in Hyrule Field. But I would say that you would have to get the uh, bow and arrow and a certain horse <laughs> to be able to get them. Otherwise, it's practically impossible to get them at this point in the game. Don't worry, I'll show you this side quest later. As I said, I'm 100%ing this game, whether you like it or not. <laughs> it's a personal challenge more than anything. Look at this, Hyrule Field is even looking pretty dark and wastelandy, and it seems to turn more than very quickly. <laughs> and now it's looking like the normal Hyrule Field. But our first destination that you want to go to is Kakariko Village, and that's where I'm going to first. Specifically the graveyard, because of the fact that we want to meet up with Dompei the Gravekeeper. Yeah, he's actually got uh, more of a bigger... Wait, is it turning night to day inside the village now? I didn't notice that before. 
Anyway, he's got more of a role now than just giving you a heart piece on his uh, heart pounding grave digging tour. And I'd like to show you something here. This guy, remember him at Hyrule Market? Now he's over here. Please, let's see. Please sell me the contents of a bottle. Please, let's see. I believe you can sell him uh, like bugs and stuff like that, if I'm not mistaken, or fish, and he'll give you rupees for it. Uh, but I don't believe he's got any purpose, basically. But with the purpose of me showing that is to say that the residents of Hyrule Market that survived that catastrophe basically went over to this village, Kakariko. Anyway, at the graveyard here, you'll see on the left side, there's this... There's a pole. Uh, there's this grave right here. I don't believe this grave was here before. Wait, actually, I should show you something first. It's something fairly interesting. Go inside Dampe's home here. And you'll see his journal. It's like a Resident Evil style camera angle here. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll read that. <clears throat> Whoever reads this, please enter my grave. I'll let you keep my stretching, shrinking keepsake. What do you mean by that, Dampe? <laughs> I'll be waiting for you. So yeah, that's. I guess I wasn't supposed to say it was Dampe's. So yeah, he's passed away sadly, and maybe his lifestyle of his heart pounding grave digging tour just got the better of him, and he's now down here. <laughs> so fall down this hole. And here we are, the question mark lounge. You can exit here or just take a look around if you'd like. There's some pots around here if you'd like to break them apart for some pocket change, I suppose, if you're that finicky about pocket change. But anyway, oh, there he is. Look at that, he's got a halo. <laughs> Hey, young man, are you fast on your feet? Why, yes, I am, actually. I may not look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me if you dare. There's two things that you can get from here. The first thing I'm going to do is just take a normal route through here. Nothing too extravagant. Just avoid the flames along the way. You can't win this race. But the objective is actually just to make it to the end. Never, never follow directly behind him because you'll get hit by fire, fire like that. <laughs> and yeah, also, uh, if you're too slow, those doors will close behind you and then you'll lose the race automatically. So, I took a wrong turn, didn't I? No! <laughs> Curses. Curse me and my slowness. I better start rolling. I better start rolling. I believe I'm supposed to go this way. I believe, yes I am. Go, 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 Link, go! Go, Link, go! Go, Link, go! Yes, I can see Dampe again. And I'm catching up. I am catching up and wow, I, how did I walk through that flame without taking a hit? I have no idea. Yeah. And the next route through here, um, you have to make it within like a minute or so or something like that. Uh, I don't really recommend going through here a second time without an item called the Long Shot. But otherwise, the first race is pretty easy. Dampe! Why did the camera go there again? Why did it have to go behind them? <laughs> so yeah, that's the spirit of Dampe there. He seems to be quite happy to be a ghost, I have to say. Well, he has spent a lot of time around the graveyard, so I guess it rubbed off on him. It's a spring-loaded chain, the, the hook shot here, and it is one of the coolest items in the game. My second favorite item in the game, actually, next to the boomerang. Why can't I use it again? Why? Just why? And whoa, I'm good. it's gonna materialize on top of me. Oh, never mind. Open, says me. I don't know why I didn't say anything there, I just thought I would do the uh, suspenseful animation dealio, or I should say let it play out. And now basically you can grab onto pretty much anything wooden, or like rooftops or something like that. You know, I'll just uh, whip this sucker out here, and uh, these torches here, should be able to grab onto them. Like that. And you could pull yourself to different areas in the game. It's a very, very cool thing. And this room, if you didn't know better, you would be trapped in here. Song of Time. There we go. <laughs> and the first time I went through this game, I was like, what the heck are these blocks? But I didn't recognize that they were the symbol that were on the door 
to the Temple of Time, so I was like, oh, I, I, I'm trapped here, but nah, after I figured that out a little bit later, I was like, yeah, that, that works for me. And now over here, this is the windmill back at Kakeriko Village. Navi! <laughs> now you'll notice that there's a heart piece up there. This is the only way to get to it from here, so I'm just gonna carefully jump my way across here. Just turn yourself towards the edge, wait for it to turn, and there we go. Woohoo! And now what you want to do is talk to this guy. By the way, this song is awesome, and we're about to get another song right here. Ah, this guy's a lot friendlier in your childhood. If you'd like to check him out there. I didn't check out the windmill when I was a kid. I don't know why. I guess I just stopped smelling the roses along the way or something like that. <laughs> it's all that Ocarina's kid fault. What? What are you talking about? I didn't even come here. You didn't... That's ridiculous. Now if you pull this out, he'll be like, What? You've got an Ocarina? What the heck? I hate that instrument. Ah! Okay, maybe not. <laughs> so he played a strange song apparently and messed up the windmill. It was the same song that he's playing right now for whatever reason. I don't know why he would want to relive that, but that's the song that you're going to be learning here. And this song will unlock a whole load of things. It makes it rain indoors for whatever reason. <laughs> It causes it to storm and make the windmill spin like crazy, or stop the windmill for whatever reason. That's not supposed to happen. I thought it was supposed to make it spin at super speed. Oh no, a storm again! You played the ocarina again, didn't you? Uh, apparently there was some sort of time paradox that I played this song and caused the windmill to go out of control. Even though it doesn't really harm anyone, he's ticked off about it. Woo! Okay, that was way, way too big of a reaction for that. And let's go outside here. Yeah, the windmill is right over here. It's right next to the Kuko Ladies area. See that? That's where the Kuko Lady was. The windmill is right here. You can look up at it. There's the windmill. There we go. <laughs> you can't miss the thing, I tell you. Now, I'm going to be going... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I can get something now in this village, couldn't I? If I just do a little bit of this. Ah, curse this sensitive controls. Oh, that worked. <laughs> um, okay, hook shot your way up to that guy there if you can. Yeah, come on, I can do this. Hmm. Which angle can I get this from? Am I gonna have to go up to here and take a shot at it. Hmm. I forgot how I get up there and that might be a problem. <laughs> Let's just find our way around here I guess. Maybe I will have to hook shot my way up from that fence. Because strangely you can stand on top of these paper thin fences. <laughs> so, yeah I think that's gonna be the angle that I'll have to go at it. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Now talk to this guy right here on top of the roof. This guy is also here in uh, childhood, <clears throat> childhood as well. Good to see you again. I'll give you this as a memento. Yeah, or at least I think I was, he's there as a kid. I'm not quite sure about that, but when did I ever see him before? But regardless, I got a piece of heart. Now we're going to go over to Kokiri Forest to check things out. Ah, on my way here, I should mention something. Virtually everything in Hyrule Field is unchanged. So, basically when I go to different locations, I'll just be cutting to them in the future. A little more vigorously, basically. Uh, but there is some a couple of things that are different when you're an adult in Hyrule Field. But not all that many. Anyway, back at the Kokiri Forest. Even this place looks a little bit different than we remember. Just look at the color scheme and everything. It's it's less majestic and more dark, so to speak. And oh boy! Giant Deku... Well, big Deku Baba. Why do I always say giant whenever I see one of these suckers? Well, they are giant, so... I guess I'm not uh, lying in that aspect. So, 
This village has been taken over by monsters practically. Oh, the treasures are still gone. No. What are you talking about? Oh. Yeah, if you, did, <clears throat> if you didn't realize this, they, the Kokiris in this forest will always be kids, basically. So, for all we know, these Kokiris have been around for hundreds, if not thousands of years. Yeah, I just thought I would give you a little hint at the plot point there. <laughs> but anyway, you can go ahead and go, ahead, go around and talk with all the people in this village. They won't recognize you, even though you're wearing the same clothes. And Navi doesn't tip them off. Of all people, Navi, why not? I mean, she talks in all other circumstances, so why doesn't she give, you know, a little insight on who the heck I am? But no, 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 Navi's gonna keep quiet in this instance. It's, oh, yes! <sighs> Needless to say, I'm a little bitter. Anyway, Lost Woods? Even Lost Woods feel a little bit different, don't they? And, again, you have to follow the song unless you know your way around. I know my way around because I've been through here a bunch of times already. Hello, Mido! You know who I am. You can sense who I am. You're the guy that hates me so much. What are you talking about? You're not letting anyone through me? Well, I'm afraid that I know her song. Ah, no, no. <laughs> Oh, dang it, I keep pressing the wrong direction. There we go! <laughs> I hate the C-stick for this sometimes. <laughs> and he'll recognize me as someone that Saria knows because... Yeah. <laughs> uh, apparently, I couldn't have just learned the song on my own by listening to this tune and, you know, just following along. And then he trusts me because he thinks that uh, I don't get it either. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be questioning the game logic, but anyway, talk to him again, and he'll be like, When I see you, I don't know why, but I remember him. Do you have anything else to say? No, okay. Uh, basically, he's implying that he knows that I'm Link and whatnot. Wait, 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 I'm kind of lost now at, in my directions. Um, I am at that thing, so that means I go forward twice from here, I think, and then I make a left, I got all disoriented because of that dang uh, cutscene and whatnot, please tell me this was the correct route, no, poopers, back to that last corner section, I guess. <laughs> Now, uh, I gotta say, the last area of the Lost World... Ugh, lost World. The Lost Woods is... I should say, the new Sacred Meadow of the Lost Woods. The way that they redesigned it, it's like they designed it to be overly annoying to you. <laughs> okay, now, it's probably a right now. Probably should just listen to the song or something like that. And here we go. Whip out your hook shot. Wow. And now you're going to see some extremely annoying enemies from here on. We'll be going through some narrow passages. If you take it slow, maybe you can sneak up on some enemies. Use L targeting to always look in the proper direction. Set your view so you can see down the next corridor before you turn a corner. Basically, L targeting is how you control the camera in this entire game. <laughs> Now, this this is just such an annoying area. You've got these things right here. They're known as moblins, and they push you into the water like that. And the objective is to kill them by shooting them in your in their back. They don't do a lot of damage to you, despite their extremely threatening looks. Um, but basically, you just want to kill them off like that. They die in one hit. Uh, but the thing is, is that they're so slow and so annoying that this area is far more tedious than it needs to be. So then you end up like looking around the corner carefully and then you see him coming down this way. Oh man, I, I was trying to duck around the corner quick enough. Oh well, just turn around so I can kill you already. See, so yeah, now it's like taking him forever to turn around and then I have to sneak around the corner carefully and shoot him from the... Let's shoot him in the butt. <laughs> and no prizes. They don't drop very much, apparently. 
Is there any more? Uh, I can probably sneak by this guy. Yeah! <laughs> that would have sucked if I would have took a hit there of all places. Whoa! Now, I've seen that Skulltula up on that higher tier there. I seen that. You can. Uh oh. Woo! <laughs> Come on. Come. I didn't mean to climb back up there. I just wanted to wait on the edge. Fine. Turn around already. <sighs> this is why it's so annoying. So very annoying. There we go. Then there's one more that's got a different kind of way to kill you. <laughs> I'll show you that as I get over there, but I'd like to grab ye old Skulltula first. There we go. Just thought I would grab that along the way. And now let's drop down here. This one over here. Whip out your sword. See, this has got a giant club. Roll. Oh, I mistimed that completely. He aims for you, typically. And see that? You gotta avoid his shockwaves. And then start attacking when you get close. Just don't let him recover in the slightest. You can't get by him until you kill him off. And there we go. And at the far end of the Sacred Forest Meadow is our next destination. Sari is not there playing your song like she usually does. Ha! Ah! Ninja again! Why is everyone in this game a ninja? I swear. That is true, and especially with me, because of the fact that I kind of lost seven years of my life here. <laughs> the Minuet to Forest. Our next song. I am not going to be able to play that as pretty as he is. <laughs> Actually, that's a she, excuse me. So I'm just going to play through it like that. This game has got a beautiful soundtrack. <laughs> I, You know, I've said this a lot of times that I, I really love the music in games. Music really helps set the mood in uh, like certain settings and, you know, tense uh, things have tense music and stuff like that. It just really, really enhances the game in my opinion. Anyway, take your hook shot, grab onto this branch right there. I guess I gotta be a little closer. And yeah, remember Saria said that this place would be... How did I get up here? <laughs> that Saria said that this place would be a very special place or an important place to them? She wasn't kidding. We are going inside this place in the next part. But as for now, this part's gone on long enough. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.